Here is my overview on the newest, most broken survivor in Risk of Rain 2, The Heretic. If you haven't unlocked The Heretic, check out the video where I show you how to unlock The Heretic. It's pretty simple, but it will cost you quite a bit. Mostly time and lunar coins. Alright, so for starters, you have to know that the Heretic is not a character you can actually get in Risk of Rain 2 at the starting screen. Instead, you start off as a different survivor and then become the Heretic. Once you become the Heretic, you will actually have all of the abilities from the Heresy items. So if you've never had a Heresy item, you probably want to watch this video. I'll explain all of them. And then we're going to go over why the Heretic is so broken. So for starters, we have Hungering Gaze. That is the Heretic's primary. You fire a flurry of tracking shards that detonate after delay, dealing 120% base damage, and you hold up to 12 charges that reload after 2 seconds. It's basically the needle gun from Halo. Now, you can snack more Hungering Gaze with more stacks of the Visions of Heresy, but this is not recommended, as it increases the reload time, which is pretty sucky. Next, we have the secondary from Hooks of Heresy, the Slicing Maelstrom. Now, I will have a video going over the two new lunar items. I think that both of them are extremely powerful, but I think that this one might be the best. So, the Slicing Maelstrom has a 5 second cooldown, the Maelstrom has a 0.2 proc coefficient, and the Explosion a 1 point proc coefficient. You charge up a projectile that deals 175% damage per second to nearby enemies, exploding after 3 seconds to deal 700% damage and root enemies for 3 seconds. What it doesn't really tell you here is that I think the charge up affects how fast it will go at enemies. So if you just immediately click your secondary button, then it will just shoot out like in front of you, barely moving at all. If you hold it down for the max amount, it will shoot out very fast and hit a line of enemies, but you won't be able to really aim the route very well. Also, because of the 700% damage, you can actually proc Rinalds and Kajaros with Slicing Maelstrom, which is pretty awesome. Alright, so now we have the utility Shadow Fade. Most of you probably know what this item is. It comes from Strides of Heresy. You fade away, becoming intangible and gaining plus 30% movement speed. You heal for 18.2% of your maximum health and it lasts 3 seconds. So during this time, you can't actually hit anything, but nothing can hit you. And basically, you're just healing yourself the whole time. Stacking multiple Strides of Heresy will increase the amount of time you spend in the intangibility, but I wouldn't recommend this because you're spending more time in the intangibility. You literally can't do anything, you're just sitting in there healing. And no, you can't cancel it, so it's pretty bad, honestly. Alright, and finally we have Ruin, which comes from Essence of Heresy, another one of the new Lunar items. It has an 8 second cooldown, a 1 proc coefficient, and dealing damage adds a stack of ruin for 10 plus 10 per stack seconds. Activating the skill detonates all ruin stacks at unlimited range, dealing 300% damage plus 120% per stack of ruin. Recharges after 8 seconds. Now, during this downtime, so let's say you snacked a bunch of your ruin and then you activated ruin, if your ruin is currently on cooldown, you can't stack any more ruin stacks on enemies. You have to wait for it to be fully charged back up. Think of it as a time to bleed. Actually, it's kind of like the old bleed, whereas you only have a certain period of time to stack the amount of bleed that you want. 10 seconds in ruin's case. It's a pretty forgiving time and does quite a bit of damage, so I think ruin is super strong. Alright, so that's all of the Heretic's abilities. Technically, they're just Lunar items, so we just went over a Lunar item overview. But why do I think the Heretic is the most broken character in the game if all the abilities are just Heresy items that you could stick on any survivor? Well, the reason is because she has an amazing stat line. At level 1, the Heretic has 440 HP, and every level, she gains 132. She also has the highest base damage in the game with 18 plus 3.6 per level. And although all survivors have the same move speed, she actually has one move speed above everyone else. And to top it all off, she also has a triple jump, which is, you know, more than mercenaries double jump. So she literally one-ups the survivors in every single way. However, the one downside to Heretic is that you lose minus 6 HP per second. You actually have negative HP regen, so it scales with level. And apparently, according to the wiki, it actually can be sped up by Spindle Tonic. So instead of gaining HP regen with the Spindle Tonic active, you will actually lose more HP. That's crazy, and I'm actually kind of wondering if Rejuvenation Rack is a bad thing on Heretic. But even with this big massive negative thing, you actually have a way of dealing with it as you have Strides of Heresy, which gains you a bunch of HP regen over time. Also, the Heretic is one of the best survivors at holding Lunar items as well. 
Transcendence takes away the negative debuff on your health, so you don't lose any more HP if you have a Transcendence. And also, because you have such a massive HP pool to begin with, the Transcendence giving you even more is going to be crazy. Even without a Transcendence, I had 10k HP when I was playing the Heretic. The Purity is really good with most of the Heresy items, so that's also a good item to pick up. Shade Glass is also super good because it only reduces your health by 50%, which you have a fuck ton of. And also, you have the highest damage stat in the game with the highest scaling, so even more. And although it's not really recommended, you could just keep picking up more and more of the heresy items to stack even more. Now, here comes the one massive negative debuff that comes with playing the heretic. Something we tested on stream when I was playing the heretic was what happens if you get rid of your items, your heresy items, by using a cleansing pool. Well, the answer is you don't turn back into the survivor that you were once playing. Instead, you lose the ability to actually use that ability. So if you got rid of your hooks of heresy, you can no longer use that ability. You can no longer use Slicing Maelstrom. It gets replaced by something called like Squawk or something like that. I can't remember what the flavor text was, but basically it does nothing. You can always go back and get the item again so you can reclaim that ability. But until you do that, you actually have no ability in that slot. So there is potentially a way to have no abilities in the game. If you just found a cleansing pool and kept going in there until you had no abilities left, you could be just basically a bird that couldn't do anything. Also, and I'm sure you're probably very curious about this, does Mithric steal your items? No. He does not steal any of your heresy items, so you're good. You will still be the bird and be able to do whatever you want. In terms of where I would put the heretic, I'd probably put the heretic close to the top, if not the actual top survivor in the game. Imagine you're commando, you're on like stage 5, you went to the blue portal and you decided, yeah, my items are looking real rough, I can't really do anything this run, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, you could just YOLO all of your lunar coins into getting all of the heresy items and then turn into the heretic. At that point, you're probably going to not only survive, but also thrive, just because you get so much more stats that really even having bad items couldn't stop you. When I first played the update, the very first game, I think, was it the first game? I think it was the very first game of the anniversary update. We got the Heretic and we won the game with Heretic. 40 wins, by the way. And this was on Monsoon difficulty, very late in the game. I think we ended up looping, maybe? And while dealing with the perfected wasn't the easiest thing to do, it still was pretty manageable. I didn't feel like I was going to die too many times. And once I finally got the Mythrix, the fight wasn't very hard at all. So maybe I'm biased, but I think Heretic, most broken survivor in the game. Anyway, that's it. If you want to know more about the Heretic, you want to see the Lunar items, we've got a bunch of videos. We have like almost every video there is about the new update. And if it's not here yet, it will be coming. So hit the subscribe button if you're waiting for those. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. I love you if you do that. Anyway, have a good night and uh, thanks for thanks for coming in. Toasty Duck's cheer deck 69. Blast Frog.